so now let us embark on perilous seas and fairy lands forlorn of the Ask Dr. Hal. Space vacations. We're gonna change the rules of the game to make it a little more fun. You guys ready to make it a little more fun? You can't change strings in the middle of a horse. Sure I can. It's my show. How many people know how to speak Oppish? Like, so my name is Chicken John, so I'll be. Ch so I'll be a. Ch -op can. How does that work? How would be? Chop it up and jump on. You put op in every syllable, and uh, that's oh, so yeah. choppy, what is it now? Choppy, cop, and jump on. That's you. That's you. Is that how you say your name, Dr. Hal? Dr. Hal. And how about K-Rob? Copy rap <laughs> Is this really entertaining? Copy rap or something on it? They like it. Okay. They like it. Why is girls' handwriting different than boys? <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> Bell. Stop all shuffle, come and double shuffle, not the uppie. Not the uppie, the is a dapper up and down. The lapper is a crappy uppie shuffle, not the lapper, not the proper and up and drop and coming. Couple is proper, not the shuffle, not the uppie shuffle, not the proper, 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 Wap and Rapu, on the ball, Mapos, on the Wapes, on the ball, Trapu. Stop it, Yapu, Papu, or Yapu, Papu, Chapu. What? But, um, but instead of just doing a poem, it's maybe we can. Space vacations. Um, yeah, maybe, um, maybe if, if there's a poem, maybe I should try. Maybe, um,. Space vacations. Ladies and gentlemen, these are questions from around the world. Around the world. Yes, we get questions from around the world. And it's true, this week, ladies and gentlemen, we have three questions from around the world. And so we're going to answer your question here, and then we're going to put it on YouTube, and then you're going to be able to see the answer since you can't come to the show because you're in Shanghai. Are you going? Shanghai. This is from uh, Shanghai to the Ask Dr. Howe show, blah, 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 blah. Okay. It says, to be open and answer at the actual Ask Dr. Howe show. Which this is. It's a question. Is money in it? There's a fucking check. Oh, a check? <laughs> Two checks, actually. One's for KPFA. Yay! KPFA? Actually, your question is $20, and KPFA gets a $15 donation. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, they really support the arts in Shanghai, and the question uh, is a fucking epic poem. Here we go. From, uh, okay. From Sven Serrano, The Shining Path of Least Resistance in uh, Ikonu, Ikuno Ku, Japan. Ikonu in Shoji Higashi. Alright. Dear Dr. Hal, fraternal greetings and best wishes to you and yours for a prosperous and happy new year. Well, that's not so the, the year of the ox. The old ways, as we know, are still the best, and what better way to count the years than by the observations of the movement of the timeless celestial bodies? That's here, what I say. Here in Shanghai, everyone is busy preparing for the family feast, and my family is no exception. But I thought I would take a brief moment to pose to you this question to you on your most famous show of shows in San Francisco. Yes, that's all very good, but uh, is he winding up for some kind of, uh, well, let's... Well, the instructions were opening up the yeah, show, so I don't... Right, right, let, let's have it. Let's read it here. Okay, the no, question is... Gonna... <laughs> what were the origins and true life of the famed Asian mountebank and man of mystery, the mysterious Fu Manchu? Was he truly the... <laughs> Fu Manchu? Fu Manchu. Okay. <laughs> was he truly the scourge of the East? Uh, <laughs> was that question was who meant to truly the I'm scourge of the East? Oh, um, there's a little bit more question. All right. <laughs> Keep piling it on. <laughs> okay. What were the origins? Ah, an origin question. Yeah. 
Yes. How many of you are familiar with the insidious Dr. Fu Manchu? Yes, I see a great number of hands there. Uh, and um, Fu Manchu is indeed uh, uh, famous. He was the uh, he was a character created by the novelist Sax Romer, who's uh, who was British. Uh, his real name was Arthur Sarsfield. Ward, I think, or Sandsfield Ward, something like that. But he wrote a series of no novels about the mysterious Dr. Fu Manchu. Now you're asking, is it, could I see it? Um, is, is Fu Manchu, was he the scourge of the East? Um, um, okay, what were the origins? Um, first of all, we're dealing with fictional character. You know, what were the origins of Zorro, of Charlie Chan, of Flex Luthor, of Professor Moriarty, Jock Savage, Savage, Sherlock Holmes? Well, all these people, though fictional characters, were, in a sense, based on someone who once actually existed. And I think I remember reading somewhere that uh, Fu Manchu, whose name incidentally uh, translates as the warlike Manchu, since Fu means uh, war, as a, or a, 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 yeah, right. He was, um, uh, they say, a member of the imperial family who was uh, on the wrong side in the Boxer Rebellion. Of course, during his long criminal career, the insidious Dr. Fu Manchu was opposed by Inspector Dennis Nayland Smith of Scotland Yard. His able assistant, Dr. Petrie, often were opposed to the insidious Dr. Fu Manchu, but they were behind him, never in advance of him. And he has left the legacy to this world of the Fu Manchu mustache. This mustache is a large part of this area, and the one element of his personality which has survived today in our 21st century world. Our high technology domain of moon rockets and microchips uh, still is slightly flavored by the facial aroma of the insidious Dr. Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu, however, is a super criminal like Professor Moriarty. He uses special methods to accomplish his aims. He is opposed to the West. Therefore, I say he is not the scourge of the East. He is defending the East, uh, in these novels at any rate, against what he considers the outrages of the West by very interesting forward-looking methods including hallucinatory fungi, tiny poisonous spiders, and other things like thugs and decoits who go around murdering and accomplishing his uh, objectives. <laughs> so was who a real person? According to some tradition, there was such a person in the imperial family who, on the wrong side of the Boxer Rebellion, went into hiding in secret to mastermind his criminal empire. Today, he'd be a folk hero. Those massacres, uh, they call them direct actions. You know, that's just the way it is. So, uh, history will have to reassess the insidious doctor. Perhaps as a patriot and as a last representative of the uh, vanishing Manchu, which became official with the departure of the Dowager in Greece is going to brief abortive revival. Uh, have I answered this question sufficiently? Oh my god! I would say so. I, uh, and don't forget the pop song of many years back called Don't Fool with Fu Manchu. Anyone remember that one? Because if you do, no. old Fu Manchu, he make a fool out of you. That's the way the song went. Well, let's move on. Let's also the chorus part. Mask of Fu Manchu. Today, these books are considered racist, sexist, and socially unacceptable. What? 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 Look at you, look at me. Look at me, look at you. What? Shut up when you're talking to me. Answer is not very clear at this point. Yeah. Involved with those 12 galaxies of populations that were guilty, and not paying myself as a TV star, that movie star, and I'm trying to get the impeachments uh, about 2010 or 2012 and try to get it all proven in Washington, D.C. too. Does anyone have a beer for Frank Chu?